Now in this section what we're going to do is use the graphing features of the calculator to find the exact uh, the exact uh, an exact point on the curve and calculate an exact XY value. We've already done the sum using the table functionality that the calculator has but this other way to do it is really really neat. Now if you go in here and put a graph or a function into your calculator, let's do Y is equal to uh, let's do you know X squared minus 1. So we just pick a nice little graph there. Of course you know you can hit the graph button you could go and, and graph that function. Uh, minus 1, x squared minus 1 means the graph is shifted down a little bit. Um, now you know that you can hit the trace button here and you can you can zip along here but notice what the calculator is doing. At each pixel it's basically telling you what the value of x is which are kind of weird looking values of x and then it calculates the corresponding value of y. Now this is really great um, just to get a good idea of what the graph is doing but it's if you want what if you wanted to look at x is equal to 1.5 well here I've got 1.489 here I've got 1.702 I could zoom in a whole bunch and, and get really close to 1.5 and that's what most people do before they know how to use the calculator very well but it turns out there's a much much easier thing let's go up here again these are all of the graphing sort of buttons on the calculator let's look at the calc menu right above the trace button so go and hit second function and then hit this guy, the calculate button is going to come up. It's a kind of a poorly worded um, menu, but basically these are all functions that we're going to cover in this section and the next several sections. And these guys basically allow you to use the graphing features to graphically find some, some, some things and calculate some things with regard to your function. So the very first one uh, says, you know, you're in the calculate menu, so you're you're going to calculate the value of a function. In other words, the exact value of a function. So if you hit uh, enter or just hit number one, then it's going to take you right back to your graph, but it's going to ask you, it's going to say x is equal to, and it's up to you to type in something. All right, so let's say you put in x is equal to 1.5, like what we were looking at. That's something that the trace button didn't, didn't show you, but when you put 1.5 here and you hit enter, then it's going to snap and put the cursor at 1.5 and it's going to tell you at x is equal to 1.5, y is equal to 1.25. And so if you start tapping your button here, you're going to go right off of the graph again. So you're not really in a trace mode. If you hit trace, you're going to snap back and you're going to be in trace mode. Notice again how, it's, how it skips over 1.5. But if you go into this calculate menu and hit value, so hit number one, let's say you want to look at 7.25. Six. It was a very precise value you wanted to know. What, what did y look like at that value of x? Hit enter and it'll tell you that at x is equal to 7.256, y is equal to this. Now let me show you something. If you go into the calculate menu and you put a value in that's too far off the screen, so this scale is uh, plus 10 and minus 10 for x, what if you put a number of 50 in here? Then you get an error. So the thing that you need to, to know about not only uh, this function, the, the value function, but any of these zeros, minimums, intersections, and all these other things that you have there, these are all related to the graph that you currently have on the calculator screen. So any of those functions are only going to work right if you can see the, the part of the graph that you're trying to, to, to look at. So in other words, when you plot a function on the calculator, it goes in and it creates a detailed table of values and it plots everything in this window here. It doesn't actually do any plotting or any calculating of anything outside of this window. So if you wanted to go and look at something like x is equal to 50, then I would have to go and zoom out uh, a whole bunch. So I could go hit, you know, zoom out and I could, of course, I got to put my cursor somewhere here and I'll hit the button here. I'm going to zoom out. So you see I'm, I've got a much better a much better idea. Now even when we do this, see you have x is equal 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 19, 20. So I think we're well off the screen. Hit enter again, it's going to redraw the graph um, you know, like that. It's going to go ahead and do that again. So if you wanted to, let me go back to Z standard. The bottom line is whenever you're doing these functions, these these functions, any of them here, you have to be looking at a portion of the graph that you, you want to do. If you put a value of, let's say, 11 in, like we were trying to do a second ago, let's pick something more reasonable. 11, x is equal to 11 is right off the edge here. It's going to say error. But if you go to zoom and you zoom out a little bit, let's go to number three. 
Let me center the guy right here. We hit enter. So we're zooming out a little bit. Then I should be able to go into the calculate menu, value, and then put x is equal to 11 in, and it should at that point calculate the value for me. And the reason it's going to work in this case is because I've zoomed out. So the calculator has actually calculated the proper values and it can just go and tell you what they are. Um, but that's really a nice little, a little feature there. It's, it's useful if you really want to calculate um, exact values of a graph. The trace function is really good if you're just trying to get a good feel for what's going on, but a lot of times you need to know what is the exact value of this function at this point. Now this function is really simple, so it wouldn't be a big deal to calculate it, but what if your function was, you know, logarithm of x minus cosine squared of x plus tangent of x? I mean, that would take a long time to calculate, so the calculator is really, really useful for that. So that's how you find the exact value of functions um, using the graphing features of the calculator.